everybody, welcome to Super Loud Boys 420XX. My name is Justin. My name is Matt. You know what we're looking at here. You know what we're doing today. Heavily fucking requested Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. We're gonna get right into it with our first cutscene. Are you excited? In the world of dragons. Yes. I'm super excited, actually. I am too. If you'll notice, this is the, uh, this yes. is an area from the first game. I do, I remember that castle. Mm-hmm. Spyro can fly now. Well. Oh, he's not yet. Not really. Is this rain ever gonna you stop? Can turn I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Okay. Like Dragon, Dragon Shores. Shores. I don't remember that portal. Yeah. I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. Okay. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Who wouldn't be? Last one there is a Nork! Mm hmm. You'll no first off, you'll notice uh, Spyro's voice has changed. <laughs> yeah. No longer the Taco Bell Chihuahua. He is now SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> And what the hell is going on here? What's this about Whoa. now? We got... Is it working, Professor? Mm-hmm. This is such a mindfuck if you have no idea what's going on. I don't have... <laughs> like, who are these people? What is this? Yeah. Calm down, Hunter. Stop You saw the Professor's book. Uh-huh. They have claws like this. Teeth like this, mm -hmm. and they spit fire like this. Poo, poo. That cracks me up when I was a kid. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. Ripto. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto. The girl is in bad it. need of a de -esser. It's working. It's working. Her sibilance is insane. Like she was oh. standing right next to the microphone. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, look, we're just talking. Hey. You. Hi. Which way's the beach? Huh. Oh my god, that's great. Oh, stop it's terrifying. Staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? Are you stupid? You got a problem with that pussy cat? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, now we can't go home. Oh fuck! Is that Ripto? Yeah. <laughs> Someone forgot to invite me to the party. <laughs> Were you trying to keep something from me? Sure. A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Okay, so he doesn't like dragons. What? That's been established. That's another thing that they haven't explained. What's that thing next? Oh to shit! Me? The audio just cut. <laughs> oh no! Oh well. <laughs> this is way funnier without uh, audio. <laughs> What's this is this pretty guy? great. Got, what are these guys? Yeah, he's got. Those are his two cronies there. They're not dragons? Yeah, I could voice act this whole thing, but I won't. Now he says, I'll deal with you later. And he's like, okay. <laughs> Very good. Actually, I will. Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and you have to stop him. Uh, he's been causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I don't have time to explain. <laughs> here, take this guidebook to Avalar. It'll begin to help you understand our worlds or something to that effect. I what don't remember. What the fuck is she? She's a fawn. Oh, okay. Like Mr. Tumnus. She's like, hey, wait. Huh. How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Anyway. Wow. So is the sound going to come back in? Huh? Is the sound going to come back oh, in? Oh yeah, it will. It yeah. was doing this at home, too. Oh, yeah, okay. that's When you play PS1 games on PS3, sometimes it fucks up. Yep, there it is. Okay. okay. So, uh... Um, <clears throat> okay. So right off the bat, this is a little different. Pogo the gym Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah, so there's NPCs, like, everywhere in this game now, and they talk to you, and they, like, tell you about what you need to do in the level, which, um... Kind of annoying. A little bit, but, I mean... I guess as far as uh, world building, it's a little better, because, I mean, let's face it, in Spyro 1, you're kind of just running around, killing shit, collecting shit, you know, that's the way it should be, I feel, but, um... I don't know. I'm, o I'm okay with the NPCs, and uh, they'll come into play a little bit more later. But, um, other thing you might notice is, uh, everything looks different. Um, <laughs> the gems are no longer all one big, uh, static, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Model. And they all, uh, just with, like, color swaps, they all look different now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a change I do like. Um, this yeah, carries over to the third game as well, and, uh, it's, it's cool. Oh, I missed something over there. Um, so right away I do want to explain that, uh, I'm not gonna be playing this game normally. Um, this is gonna be a 100% run, 
but um, with some alterations. And that's not even really the right word, because I'm not really- I'm not skipping anything. Well, may, it might be better to just explain that stuff when it happens, but um, this ain't gonna be your run-of-the-mill 100% Spyro 2 Let's Play, if you know what I'm saying, I'll just leave it at that for now. What do you think so far? Um, it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, it does look, I mean, obviously it makes sense, but it looked kind of similar to the last game. Yeah, so this is our safe point now. Remember in the first one we had to stand on dragon platforms, but there's no dragons in this one, so... She's explaining to us that that's how she saves. That's she's a checkpoint machine, basically. That's what she's doing. Okay, so oh look, it's another NPC. Hmm. I'll talk to him in a minute. I'm gonna take care of these people first. There's so much going on right now. I know. I told you. <laughs> so what's this? Whiskers, the gem cutter. Uh -huh. Looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. After I learn to climb, what the fuck? Wow. Ugh. Okay, so I guess there's abilities that we have to learn later. That's a little different, huh? So hmm. backtracking back to levels? Yeah. The last game didn't. No. Yep, Spyro 1 had zero backtracking whatsoever. And, uh, if you'll remember, I made a point to mention that, because that's one thing about Spyro 1 that I really, really like. Because I think backtracking is kind of annoying. I don't think I'm alone in that sentiment, but I don't know, maybe some people like it. I certainly don't. Yeah. It's okay, I mean, it's not... Ugh. Okay, so you don't have to backtrack to beat the game normally, but you do have to backtrack to beat the game 100%. Mm -hmm. So what's with this now? Money back. Mm -hmm. Well, dragon or not, mm -hmm. I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. He will cross oh, really? 100 of your gems to cross. So we have paywalls, too. It's like microtransactions. Oh, no. mm -hmm. I don't really feel like paying you, though. You'll have to pay up sooner or later. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I have to look after yeah, I don't my, think so. Uh, Avalos, financial well-being, you know. Capitalism, mm -hmm. am I right? Okay. Hmm. Well, so here's the thing about Spyro 2. Um, it's broken. <laughs> oh. There's some movement physics in this game that are completely broken and that will allow you to skip things. So, um, as you know, I'm jumping, you know, normally. That's So I can't, like, I can't quite get up here, but, like, if I could, I could probably end up getting up there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So... There is a very broken mechanic in this game called Double Jump. Um, one thing they changed is when you're charging, your jump, you get a lot more air and you have a lot more control over it. When you were charge jumping in Spyro 1, it was very like light, kind of like that almost. Like, there wasn't much to it, but you can get like serious height. And I think that's why this works, so check this out. So what I did there was a double jump. Okay. So what the way you do that is you jump, and while you're in the air and you're holding X, you press square. And if you watch Spyro really closely, he's going to do like a little bit of a hesitation. He's going to get a yeah, little bit more height. That, yeah. yeah. So here it goes. So now I'm over here. Think I can get up there? I think so. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you've cut out. Oh uh, yeah, I just cut out. to go probably about 20 minutes of this let's play backtracking. Oh, very nice. And, since I'm up here, here's another thing that's uh, new to Spyro 2. Uh, we have power-ups, so uh, now I can fly. And, uh, so you can circumvent that fucker. Right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm going around and I'm flaming these uh, gems. Another thing that's different in Spyro 2 is there's mini-games all over the place. And these, uh, these mini-games, what they do is they give you orbs, which uh, there's 64 orbs in the game, and you need them to get 100%. You need 40 to beat it normally. Okay. Some some of these guys have funny dialogue, so I will let them play most of the time. Oh, okay. Doesn't look anything like a baseball, but okay. If you'll notice, the professor dude had two of those in the beginning. Yep. So now, I mean, I don't even have to glitch the game. I'm I'm already up here. I'm just gonna fly over this bitch. So the gimmick of this entire run is I'm gonna try to skip money bags everywhere that I can. Um, which is not going to be everywhere. There are a couple things that I'm going to have to pay him to, to do and get, but I'll, uh, obviously I'll make note of those things when they happen. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this game is good, but the backtracking really pisses me off. But I feel like once you've... If you ever put in the time to actually learn these advanced movement skills, this game becomes a lot more fun. <laughs> right. I don't know. Talismans now too? What the hell? 
God damn, there's too much going on. Yeah, so basically, you go through the level normally and you get a talisman. That's, like, the main goal, at least right now, and then the portal opens up and you can leave. But there's mini games and gems and all sorts of other stuff we can pick up, so we're gonna go uh, wrap that up for this world and then we'll be on our way.